back to Reese World. How are you doing? Hope you're keeping safe and healthy. If you're watching for the first time or you've been watching, I want to say thank you so much. I am grateful for your effort. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, like and comment on my video. And please, guys, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So whenever I post a new video, you get to watch. On today's video, I'll be gisting you on how we used to celebrate our 20th May in Bamenda. Before we get into the gisting, let me explain to you guys why we celebrate 20th May in Cameroon. 20th May is a day set aside by the government of Cameroon to celebrate President Amadou Ahijo's abolishment of the federal system of government to the creation of a unitary country in 1972. So since 1972, Cameroon has been celebrating 20th May every year till today. Okay, so guys, the first part of the celebration begins with preparations before the day. These preparations involve individuals preparing like the pupils, the students, yeah. And then the schools, they prepare the students and the people. In schools, we have we practice march past like two weeks before 20th May because we are going to march on that 20th May. And then we practice singing and dancing, traditional dances to go and do singing competition with other schools and dancing competition with other schools. So that is what the school prepares. As individuals, this is where the gisting comes. We have to prepare now. We have to save money that we'll spend on that day. And we cannot just, money doesn't fall from space. You need to work. So some of the things we did to save money is we clean broom. We go into the bushes. We look for palm, palm fronts, make broom out of it and sell. We crack palm kernel and sell. Guys, I don't know about crack concrete. I don't know if people know about crack concrete. I don't know the word to use there yet, but we crack concrete. <laughs> we crack concrete. Yeah. That is it. I don't know the right word to use in that place, but yeah, we crack concrete. I don't know the correct phrase to use, but we crack concrete to save money. When you crack concrete, they measure it in headbands and give you the money. We mold blocks, mold blocks. You enter in a hole, you dig, you mold. Okay, this is how it's used to save our money. When we mold this block like this, they pay us, they pay us spend. I think one brick is 25 francs, something like that. When we mold that block that they pay us, we save our money in um, in a small uh, bank, small plank bank. Or if you are afraid that you eat your money fast, you can put it in an iron bank. I have one iron bank, I'll show you guys. Yeah, in a bank, an iron bank that looks like this. We save, we save the money in, we save our money in an iron bank or a plank bank. Guys, when you're saving your money, don't make a mistake. Some people used to put their money in this pig milk container. But don't make that mistake of putting your money in a pig milk container because when you will remove the money from that small can, it's just going to be rusted, something like that. I did that once. I saved my money in a pig milk container. God, I cried on that day. But yeah, it was fine. So we save our money. After doing all these small, small odd jobs, we save the money and prepare for the main day. You need to save enough. So that, that day when you go to the tree, you are the boss. <laughs> you command, you make things happen. So guys, after the saving of money and preparation for that day, the day finally comes on the eve of that day. Come and see iron in now. We're using the charcoal iron. You remove charcoal, you put it in. I'm going to show you guys. See, you will put in a charcoal iron. We iron our uniforms. The ones that charcoal falls on in and turning black. No problem. Then we have our long white socks that we bought them like some weeks back preparing for the day. You prepare your socks, you polish your shoe. Or it's either you are going to grind charcoal or rem um, remove some one black substance that is at the head of a bush lamp. That is inside the bush lamp. You remove that black substance. You mix it with kerosene. You polish your shoes with it. Uh, that's why your shoes are shining. And then normally other uh, um, villages, neighboring villages from the same subdivision used to come and march with us in town. So when those children are leaving those neighboring villages to come, hey, they are loaded. Money that they have been saving for ages. Things that they have been stocking, they come with everything. So that night, the survival of the fittest, that's how the place is booming. 
everywhere is congested. People are looking for places to stay. At times, some of us who used to claim smartness, eh, we bring some people to come and sleep in our house. They sleep on our bed and give us some money while we sleep on the floor just to prepare more money for that day. You guys can imagine the fun that was in it. We don't care if I... I didn't even want to bother if I have to sleep on the floor just to raise my money that I would spend on changing me. Mm -mm. I give my bed. I used to be with my grandmother. So, grand pe old people, they sleep. Old people don't really notice things that bad. So, when my grandmother is asleep, oh, she's busy doing her own things in her room. I'm busy <laughs> bringing in my own tenants that will sleep and pay me for the night. <laughs> Guys, that day is fire. That evening is boom, boom. If you are not ready, you cannot make it. That evening, everything is what the ironing. Okay, people that are frying to go and sell on the field, you fry Accra, banana, and Kuli Kuli, and Popo, Gato. People are frying. People that are cooking to go and sell. Then people that, okay, my grandmother used to prepare corn chaff and give me to go with it to the field. What I will eat, my lunch. She always does that. Even if I have money, she does not care. And eh? she don't want me. Like, don't think that you are going there without my food. You are taking your food from here. So my grandmother always give me food. Corn chaff that she has put in a mangerine container. I carry it to the field with my money in my pocket. <laughs> Guys, that day is going to be hot. We have a place that our school always pack their things. So I go there, I pack my corn chaff. There's one time that I kept my contract, there's somebody even stole it there. Eh? <laughs> I kept my food and I came back, I didn't see the food. I just saw an empty container that somebody has stolen. And the funny thing with my grandmother is, as you are taking that contract in that container and going with it, bring back her container. She doesn't care if you have to carry it on your head or mm -mm. you are bringing back her container. So I had to bring back that container. And if anything happens to the container, it's a problem. And I must go with food. So I don't even have an option. I don't have a choice to be like, no, grandma, I'm not taking it. Or no, no, no. It's a must. I have to carry my lunch to the field. And I have to bring back the container after eating my lunch. <laughs> so it's composure. <laughs> okay, guys. And that day, the day finally comes. After the eve, the day finally comes. The first thing we go, we make our lines. We stand, we do mash pass. We march to various schools, beginning from nursery. Um, the military first march, nursery schools march, primary schools march, and then secondary school. After march pass, we go in for singing competition. You see the school come and sing. They will conduct. They will make. <laughs> guys, I don't know if you guys experience this, but yeah, it's a kind of fun event. They march after they do traditional dance competition. They dance. They do everything. After they start doing prize award, they give prizes. On 20 May, political parties always march. So they to come and march. They are the last people to march. When they march, they share t-shirts. So most of the times, we always sit after our own march pass. We join those political parties to march so that we take t-shirts from them. So we join them and we march. CPDM, they give t-shirts. After that, they take you people to the Jews house. You guys eat. So CPDM was the VIP side. And they are never lacking. They always have an abundance. Okay, after the prize awards, um, all those things, dancing competition has passed. They go down to the field. People who are, hmm, those, those people now, you know those high class ones that have time to watch football. They dress up, they go to the other field to watch football. Some of us, the owners of the field, we go to the shopping direction to buy. <laughs> we buy Alaska. We buy Accra banana. We buy this Tatina chocolate. One small chocolate like this is two fifty. It used to be two fifty then, and then it has a small spoon. We buy bread, Alaska. You buy Alaska because the sun used to be hot. When the sun is hot, that you buy your Alaska. You suck it after you put the ice on your head. It's just melting. Water is dripping. <laughs> Cold and fresh water is dripping on your body. Yeah, you're just feeling the twenty minutes. We eat all sorts of things, mixture. After eating the concha, if, if they have not stolen the concha, after eating it, uh, we go now to the Alaska sites, the Macra banana sites, the Accra pop off. Everything we are eating, we are mixing. They used to say um, meat, meat, uh, pepper soup meat that they sell for 10, 10 francs or 25. I don't, I've forgotten that price. Yeah, we used to buy those. Now, like this, I see they sell the meat 100 francs, but then it was almost 100, 10, 10 francs. 
we buy that we buy sweet we go and play lucky game to multiply our money one day i play lucky game guys <laughs> you know what happened to me i played lucky game i was having 200 so i was like okay let me play lucky game so that i will have 400 or multiply it i played 100 first i got 200 i was so excited I added the other 100 that I kept in my bag it was 300 to play against it. I will have 600. Everything went <laughs> the way I cried there. <laughs> I cried until the man gave me 100 francs to go home. I couldn't just take it. All my money gone like that. Lucky game. Those are games that they already know who is winning. They know what is happening. Go there. We play lucky game. We lose. We win. The fact about it was, in fact, it was so much fun. If you are playing lucky game, when you win the first time, don't play again because you are definitely going to lose. The guys have a way in which they do it that you must lose. So yeah, after those lucky games, we buy things now to go home and give our parents. At first, I used to eat everything that I don't have anything to go and give my grandmother. My big sister will come with things and I'm just looking at my grandmother eating. I'm like, <laughs> should we? But I thought I gave you money because when you are going to the field, after giving you a concha, my grandmother remembers to give you 150 francs that you will spend on a day. So she'll be like, I gave you money, even sumo and cabana, you cannot bring for me. I think my money got finished or lucky game took my money. I was always having complaints with either lucky game or I ate all my money or I used my money on Alaska until I forgot that grandma is in the house. <laughs> yeah, that was me. And yeah, we buy things, we take home. We carry all those things home. We surprise our parents. They are happy. They are excited. And yeah, the celebration of that day, that phase of the celebration has passed. So guys, the next phase of the celebration is after party. Like they used to organize dance. Um, yeah, something like club, club like something. But it wasn't like, it's, it's, it's not a club where people go and dance. It's just an event that happened just for that day. Somebody can have a living room, just use it as a dance hall. Somebody can rent a home for that. Somebody can just build something and they play music. We used to call it boom. You pay 50, they put a stamp on your palm. <laughs> when they put that stamp, you show it at the door, you enter. And then if you don't want to pay, you go and sit outside, you are turning left, turning right, around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, where those bouncers, they, they, they are no longer standing at the door. You enter now for free and dance. But you feel like that I enter, you dance, dance, dance till the next day. You make sure that if you have money to buy your drink, okay. If you don't have any money to buy any drink, that's your life. You're just going to be dancing, entering many people's businesses, and yeah, like that. Just dancing, yeah, trying to find your place in. And that is it. The celebration till the next day. And only when you return home and grandma has discovered that you were not in the house. <laughs> that morning, eh? <laughs> There's serious flogging. My grandmother used to beat. That woman beats like they trained her to beat. She used to beat us. She, we, she has this walking stick that she used to flog us with it. But do you think I listen? Mm. When grandma beats me this 20 me, next 20 me, I'm even doing the same thing again. It was just fun doing it. Like if you are not participating, you are left out. So I have to attend all those things now. So that on Monday when we go to school, I have to just with my friends. Like, do you know what happened on 20 May? This when all this went on. I was there. I saw this. I saw that. Yeah. So it was something that we must do. It was a necessity. At the time, my grandmother figured out that we used to go and then we come back. So what she does is the next day after 20 May is always a public holiday. They don't go to school. On that day, grandma gets you up at 5 o'clock. We are going to the farm <laughs> to walk. Because she knows that you have not been sleeping the whole night. Like if she didn't catch you, my grandmother knows that she doesn't beat you if she do she does not catch you in the action. So if she didn't catch you, she knows that you actually went out, but she doesn't have a proof. So she's going to take us to the farm so that we can walk the whole day and just imagine a tiredness. You are walking in the farm. Oh, we are oh sh it was sweet and fun. Now like this, when I think of it, I'm like, let those old good days come again. And yeah, guys, that was it for our 20th May celebration. So, guys, we've come to the end of this video. I want to thank you so much for watching right from the beginning up to now. If you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comment section and tell me what you think of this video. And for any suggestions, leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. 
thank you so much please subscribe if you haven't subscribed guys please 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 subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye